Hey, hey, developers. Today, we're going to look at a quick Vue.js application. We're going to look at three different ways you can manipulate the DOM using Vue.js. And I mean manipulate the DOM directly. Now, stay all the way to the end. There's actually a special treat if you do, so please check out the video. So right now, you could take a look. I have my app up here. And it's not much to look at. It's just a Hello World app, just big old on the screen Hello World. There's a big button that says Press Me. If you press it, there's a little alert that comes up that says Test. So nothing special there. Um, you can see here I also have Vue DevTools installed, which is the latest version of the Vue DevTools. If you're not familiar with that, that's an add-on with Chrome that you can install so that you can help you troubleshoot uh, Vue stuff. So that'll help. Um, you can see here this is how I structure my app. I just have a script tag at the top. It's pointing to the latest version of Vue. I'm doing a little string interpolation. It's taking this hello, which is equaling hello world. And then it has a button with a click event attached to pressed. And that's just showing an alert box that says test. So let's make this a little bit more interesting. And we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to add an input. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to put an ID here of my, uh, let's call it important. So we'll save it. And if we look back at our app, we'll refresh it. We have this big white box here. Nothing's happening. Um, we don't have anything configured to it. Let's say we wanted to get this text after you hit press me. Now, th there's quite a few ways to do this, but let's talk about three kind of simple ways that we can do it. Uh, of course, we could attach like a V model. There's something called V model directives. There's some other directives that you can use um, to get this information. But let's say we didn't want to use that for some reason, or maybe this was in a different component. Or there's, there might be situations where we need to grab information and this isn't uh, attached or it's not binded to anything. So one thing you could do is the good old, just plain JavaScript. We can use the document. Uh, we can use like a query selector and we can just put in the ID. So important and then we'll do value so that's kind of the easiest way of doing it and we'll call this I don't know text and we'll just pass into the alert the text so we're just doing the base this is basic JavaScript with a query selector we're grabbing the ID of important which we know is the input type here and grabbing the value from it and then we're just gonna display it in the alert so if we go back to our app here we'll refresh it we'll put in hi hit press and you can see here right at the top it says hi so we know that everything's working correctly um, so that's the number one way but usually man manually manipulating the DOM like this isn't the best way there's actually a, a few other ways we can do it and of course like I said we can create a V model directive and we can do some binding here but let's say the second way we can do it is we can actually have we do have access to this.el, and this is this element here, and this is basically the whole DOM in between here. So we can do this.el, and we can do a query selector on this. So query selector, same thing we did before, important, and we'll grab the value. And we'll just call it text still. I'm gonna save it, make sure I save it. And I'm gonna refresh, and I'm gonna put a new value in. Hi there, and just to, sh to show you that's working, I'll put in a little um, from EL, so you know that it, this is really working. So I'll refresh it, we'll put hi there, and you can see here, hi there from EL, so you can see it grabbed the value just as we expected, so click OK there. So that's the second way of doing it. So let's see the third way. One thing we can do is in any element we can actually add a ref to it. So we add ref here. This is a special internal to Vue.js where we can set different items ref. And we can actually, as a parent, we can talk to child components. And as a child, we can grab stuff from parents. Usually, you don't want to do that too much, but it is possible. And so we can call ref here, and we'll call this um, this ref. Well, we'll call it um, important too, just to make it different. I'm going to save it. And the way we access this is we go basically let text this dot refs, R-E-F-S, not R-E-F. And then we just put in the name, important to, and then value. 
So this is doing the same thing. So we'll do from refs. We'll save it. So we're accessing it using this dot refs. Since we put this ref here, and then we put the name that we called it, and we can have multiple items on the page have different refs, and make sure it's single case, uh, singular here and plural here, and then we put in the name we put in there. So we'll save it. We'll go back to our app. We'll refresh it. We'll put in another test, and we'll hit press me. And once again, at the top it says another test from now dollar sign refs. So now we can see this is the third way we can grab information from the DOM. So then uh, let's show one other way. So what you could do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just comment all this out, refresh it, is let's say I put in a value here and I don't have access to the debugger or I don't have access to, to everything um, we just want to look it up real quickly, that is. So I'll say this is Eric. And I want to look up this input somehow. Um, maybe I want to do some manipulation to it. So I can do this. So uh, I can click View. Make sure you have this in. I click Root. And now you can see here, it says really small here, but it says dollar sign $VM is in the console now. So now it's in the console. And now I can manipulate the whole DOM right inside the console, which is really cool. So I can go VM0. You can see here it has a bunch of options. So I can do VM0 dot uh, dollar sign EL, which is now the whole element for the whole DOM. I can do dollar sign refs, which is that one I just created, like important to dot value. So this is Eric. So now I have basically access to everything um, that view has access to, and which is really important because there is quite a few internal uh, ways you can manipulate the DOM and, and kind of test while you're working. So now I can just kind of use this dollar sign VM0 and, and just go through everything I need to go through and, and make sure things are working. Um, you can also, if you have multiple components, you have multiple VMs, everything will be listed here. So it makes it really cool and really easy to do troubleshooting of it. And I guess I could show you here. So the other way to do this is if I have hello here, I can say, you know, my input, well, let's say, um, we'll call it, I don't know, product. And I'll just have an empty string there. So I could do something like this where I do v model um, equals, and I'll put product in here. And then this will create a two way data binding between product and here. And if I do something like this, product, I'll save it. I put in values in here. You can see here it's two-way data bound in here. I can access it fourth way, I suppose. Alert this dot product. I'll save it. I'll return it. So now, if you do press me, you can see here ASDF. So it came up here. So obviously that's that's the normal way that you guys are probably used to. Um, but this this just shows you kind of really the flexibility of working with Vue. We can use we can obviously manipulate the DOM with document query selectors. I have access to this this dollar sign el. I have exercise to dollar sign refs. Um, I can do V model binding on it. Um, and if I have the Vue Chrome extension and Vue is running in in development mode. I can also have all this manipulation I can do with it. So it, there's, it's pretty flexible. There's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I want to give away a free copy of my book, Vue.js in Action, for those of you who have watched all the way to the end. So if you guys are interested, um, all you need to do is on in the description below, I have some information about my mailing list where I will give you some uh, great information and tips. Go ahead and sign up for my mailing list. Just click on that link. You just need to put your name and email address in. I'll be selecting one person uh, next week to get a free copy of my book. So sign up for my mailing list and you may get that free copy. Thank you. And if you like these videos, click that subscribe button and definitely click that bell button so you get notified next time I release a video. Thanks.